Working with pivot tables created from Power Pivot data is not unlike working with pivot tables created from standard Excel. We can add details such as we can include filters to our pivot tables just like we can with our standard in Excel. For example, we could take our product and put our product down into our filters. That means then on our pivot table we get this little filter list and we can expand the filter list and select the items that we want from the particular filter. For example, we've just picked one particular product there of glass sculpture and it filters the entire table. The entire table already has date hierarchy and it also has country. So you can see how we can pivot tables from multiple data sources. It's really, really great with Power Pivot. With Power Pivot, you also get the Analyze ribbon and you get the Design ribbon. With the Analyze ribbon, you can quickly rename your pivot table from over here on the left. If you select between different fields, you can see the active field selected here showing us that we're in the net sales active field. We can also insert slicers, refresh the data, change data sources, we can add OLAP tools, relationships and pivot charts all from the analyze ribbon. Pivot charts, if you insert a pivot chart that is con it will be connected from here, it'll be connected to this pivot table. If we just quickly look at that, if we just put in any type of chart for the moment, this chart is now fully connected to the pivot table. So if I were to remove an item from the pivot table, it's also going to be removed from the chart. If we expand items within the pivot table, they will also this, these changes will be reflected within the chart too. From the design ribbon then, we have options to basically change the design of your pivot table. We have the subtotals, so depending on the number of details you have in rows, we'll show and hide the subtotals in between the different row fields that you have placed within your pivot table. You can turn on and off row and column titles. You can also change your report layout and show in tabular form is more or less like a flattened pivot table. I've changed that to tabular form and you can see now when we increase it that the months go into the particular into a new column and when I expand the date the day also goes into a different column. The only difference, the problem with this from creating will flatten is we don't have the year all the way down here because we can open and expand these. Let's have a quick look at this pivot table here. What we have is total sales, we have returns and one minus the other gives us our net sales. And we're quite happy with the values that we have and have them linked to our power pivot data. But what if we want to use this? and we want to be able to put it somewhere else, like if we want to take the total sales value and we want to place it somewhere else in our pivot table. We can easily place the values in but they're no longer linked and this can cause a problem if you update your model. So what we can do from the Analyze ribbon is if we go to OLAP tools we can convert the pivot table two formulas. Now this is a really, really nifty feature of Power Pivot that isn't available in standard pivot tables. Now we can see each one of these has this cube value formula driving the, the data and the data will remain live and intact with your pivot table. But now what we can do is we can take our total sales, we can take our we can cut our net sales and we can place it somewhere else within our actual spreadsheet. And that way we can make our reports look exactly the way we want them to look and have it still intact with our Power Pivot model in the background. 